What is good Tesla family, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I'm going to be talking about the one and only Tesla stock and what you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to break down what the new stat and technicals are telling us about the overall market and also for Tesla, what big earnings are coming out and how this may affect Tesla's share price going forward looking at the data right now. Now I want to apologize to you guys about the echo you may be hearing, any weird background noise and things like that in this video because I have a family emergency and I'm forced to record this video in a small library just real quick. Now, anyways, I just want to also note that I'm not a financial planner, so make sure you take none of this information as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Tesla community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below in the description. If you sign up for Mumu with the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you're guaranteed up to five free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is any could be a free Tesla share. The offer ends in just four days. Check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. Tesla is not looking great right now, guys. This thing ended up just getting a very bloody looking hourly candle as the day uh, ended up going on. We got a small bounce, right? We got a small bounce today trying to push up and trying to like try to get some kind of rebound as we are forming this falling wedge but falling wedges won't guarantee anything based off how the market moves and the cycles and the shift in sentiment right now now tesla could try to retest the top of this as the market may get a small bounce thanks to meta's earnings but just like microsoft right something very unexpected happened and that is microsoft you know it, it continued to push up so did google the market did turn green temporarily trying to bounce and it ended up just failing on its face and this did also drag tesla down so if we see something like that happen tomorrow, the same thing could end up happening to Tesla again. What isn't good about this is, yes, we're retesting this upper trend line most likely, but then it's just like another $2 up. If it fails off that, it's going to continue to come down. In order for Tesla to turn bullish or get a decent move to the upside, it has to break 160. It looks unlikely. But at the end of the day, once again, just be very patient as we have lots of data coming out. Uh, on the daily charts, let me just hide my drawings. Tesla has this giant gap down to about 143. If Tesla breaks 150, that's it. It's going to fill the gap most likely and start to get a, an attraction to come down there. It's just not going to look good. And there's just more downside to come because of that. Now, when made that happen? I don't want to promise any dates because we have lots of data coming out that's going to be a little capricious. We also have PCE data coming out for Friday. But I do believe over the next few weeks, within the next few weeks, it's very likely Tesla will end up filling the gap, coming all the way down. The trend, it tried to get a balance. It tried and tried and ended up failing. And now it's looking relatively weak. But now I want to talk about something else affecting the market, and that's going to be Meta's earnings. Meta ended up beating on EPS and revenue. Their daily active users went up, and their monthly active users was as expected. However, I just want to note that they did see a big decrease in their net income. They did see uh, some of their earnings not doing as well. So it was a very mixed report, but because they did beat on some of the biggest things and because the forecasts for their revenue are still pretty good for the second quarter, we are starting to see Meta continuing to pump. This is going to help the NASDAQ and many tech stocks especially, but consumer discretionaries are starting to slow down amidst the fears of the recession and also declining earnings. Now, looking at some other pieces of data, for Thursday, do not forget, we have the GDP numbers and initial jobless claims coming out. That's going to be very important for tomorrow, all before the market opens. The forecast is supposed to be around 240,000. We want jobless claims to be well above that and initial jobless claims so that's what comes before to be above uh the consensus of one i'm sorry 248,000. so we want to see high jobless claims more unemployment for the gdp growth we don't want this to be way too high or way too low if it's way too high this could be bad for inflation so the fed may have to be more aggressive if it's way too low this could lead to more recessionary fears so we, what the market wants is this to be very close to the forecast very close to the consensus don't forget for Friday before the market opens, we have PC data coming out. And finally, when we look at the earnings, Meta and Roku are reporting right now. We're going to see some reactions to that up for Thursday. And then on Thursday, which is tomorrow, we have Amazon, the big dog. Amazon's going to be reporting earnings. 
We're going we're going to see a big reaction to this on Friday, so make sure you're ready to see that. And because Amazon's reporting earnings, this is going to be very very important. Now this can move the markets, of course, but please remember it is not necessarily the end of the world, because of the fact that. If Amazon ends up missing on earnings, I think that the algos and the market makers are going to try to use that as an excuse to short the market harder. And if Amazon does well, we might see a good reaction in the beginning, but I'd still be very careful anyways, because once again, PCE is also going to be coming out during the time, so it's going to affect how we move on Friday. Now for, sorry about that, for Tesla, we could see that Tesla has dropped below the $500 billion valuation over margin fears, and this is just... Once again, leading to the media just taking advantage of this news and just attacking Tesla. Their overall inventory levels are continuing to drop, which is once again a good sign. We're getting more buying for Tesla, which means we could get a pretty decent Q2 report so far for deliveries. We just need more data for it going forward. And finally, when it comes to the overall performance of Tesla, the price price ratio has been declining, showing lots of relative weakness for Tesla. Tesla also has a hold rating from many analysts, such as Jeffries. They actually downgraded Tesla from a buy to a hold, right? And then for Thursday, Tesla's only green 47% of the time. It tends to be one of Tesla's weakest days. We tend to perform best during the second and then around the fourth hour or so. But we do tend to have very slow starts. Finally, the short interest is starting to go up. Just two days ago, we saw 23 plus million of these Tesla shares shorted. So make sure you guys are prepared for that because the shorts could be very relentless. We have high volume on Tesla. We're dropping on high volume, lots of selling pressure, not a good sign for us. And overall, the price price ratio is not the price price ratio, the price versus short volume. It was dropping, but as it hit this low, it actually got a bounce. So there could be more shorting going forward. So I'm just going to briefly talk about what's left, guys. I have limited time. On SPY, there's actually a falling wedge right now. And there's no guarantee it has to bounce and turn bullish, by the way. And if there is one, it could just be a very, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, guys, very minor move. I'm thinking that we're going to see a, a small push up thanks to the earnings, just like how we got a push up today. Then we just rejected off very close to 408, then we started tanking. We're going to see something similar likely. We, we're going to try to attempt to break 405. If it rejects off 405.5, we're going, we're going to see this thing continue to tank. If we break it, we could keep pushing. And this will depend heavily on the data coming out. How on earth are earnings looking? How on earth would the initial jobless claims look like? What are the GDP numbers going to cause? We have to watch all of that very carefully. There is a bullish divergence. However, that there's no guarantee it means we're going to just bounce really hard. It could just be a small bounce to retest 405. I do believe we're going to do that. I just don't know if we're going to break out of this to the upside or if we're just going to start tanking. To turn bullish, we have to break it and break above 406.5 to get to 408 plus. To turn more bearish, we have to actually get rejected off this and remain in this falling wedge. If we break below it, if we break below 403, it's going to crash to 402, then 400 flat. Be prepared for anything. Big data is coming out. For Tesla, for us to turn bullish, we have to break above 155. If we break it, we could get closer to about one, uh, right here around 157.5, then 160 could come. If we get a clean break above this 155 to 156 resistance. If we're bearish on Tesla, it has to reject off 155 and start coming down, fail to hold 153, then 150 is going to come. And if that comes, if it fails at 150, that is it for Tesla. It's going to come down to fill the gap into the 140s, unfortunately. What do I think is going to happen? I'm seeing a bit of a bounce, a very tiny one, it retesting this trend line. And if it fails, if it rejects, depending on the data and et cetera, it's very likely Tesla might just start downtrending for that 50, that 150 mark, unfortunately. That's what I'm seeing, but I'm always open to any possibility. Just so far, the market is starting to shift. The algos are shifting to selling, and this is negatively affecting the markets. Coinbase ended up breaking below key support at 54. So now it looks to me like it's going to bounce maybe tomorrow to 55 or so, but then fail, and it's likely going to just chop around a bit. If it does get another rug pull, if it fails to hold the low of the day, it's going to come all the way down to 50 flat. The dollar is pretty flat, but if it breaks out, that's going to become a lot more bearish for the markets. So far, the dollar is holding up. There is a chance the market could try to bounce tomorrow if we do break out of this falling wedge. By the way, there is a chance that could happen. We'll have to wait and see. It depends on the data, of course. If that happens, then Tesla will have a little bit more upside, right? It could try to get back to about 158 or so, but 
like I said before, I mean, I'm just not way too bullish on Tesla. I do think it could try to get to 158 if we get some good data, by the way. But if it fails, to, if it rejects off this like 155 level, anyways, it's going to likely end up rejecting anyways and come right back down. Just wanted to note that. Anyways, look at Microsoft. Uh, this thing is at some unsustainable levels. 300 plus is likely not going to hold for too much longer. We have this giant gap below. As the weeks pass, it's going to likely come down to fill this gap. Unfortunately, the QQQ is likely going to also come down to fill this gap at 308. Might try to bounce thanks to Meta's earnings, hold up, retest 314, trade sideways, then slowly start downtrending over the next couple of weeks. The VIX is starting to break out, um, not looking uh, too good for the bulls. If the VIX comes down to retest 17.82 in the morning, let's see if it bounces. Because if it keeps going, then it could just break above 20. If it breaks 20, this thing could just keep going and going and going, and that could become more bearish for the markets. Amazon is likely to see a little bit of downside. Maybe it comes down to fill this gap before earnings, but then we're going to see a massive reaction after earnings. We do have a tendency of seeing a lot of tech stocks slow down right before their big reports. NVIDIA, hold on, NVIDIA right here, Likely to do the same thing, might try to push up, retest the very low 270s, then reject. And if it ends up breaking below 266, it's going to crash to 264 and end up filling the gap down below. For, let's see, what else is there? Meta, expected to actually gap up tomorrow most likely. Hold these levels and start to actually base. And once it bases, I'm going to anticipate it. I'm sorry, did I say hold? I meant it's going to reject. Expect it to come down a bit. Sorry about that, guys. Just a little bit could come down to about uh, 220 or so. Then expect it to base and then just continue to trade from there. But even if it does hold these levels for some short period of time, if the market gets rug pulled thanks to the algos, it's likely going to come crashing down, unfortunately. 10-year treasury yield is continuing to push. If it pushes for this gap fill or even a lot of these gap fills above, that's going to become bearish for the stock market. The one-hour time frame has a bullish cross on the PPO and on the daily time frame. This is continuing to actually hold a lot better than before. If it holds this 33.8 area and it just keeps going to fill the gap, that's going to become bearish for the stock market as well. All right, guys. So what am I seeing from the markets? An attempted break is what I'm going to see. An attempt to break out is what SPY is going to do. Could we do it? It's going to depend on the data. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it really also depends on how the market interprets what's about to come, of course. If it breaks out, that could help Tesla a bit, but if it fails to get a clean breakout or if it's very weak during a potential breakout, this could, be, could just be a fake out and eventually more downside could still come later on. We'll see if it tries to break out or not. Once again, just be watching the data carefully. This will affect Tesla as well. If we get good data, Tesla could try to hold these levels. If the data is not the best and the market starts downtrending more, expect a big rejection from Tesla and more downside to come. All right, guys, I'm sorry this video was not as meticulous as other ones, but I just wanted to make this as fast as possible. I thank you all so much for listening. If you guys want some custom merch, please check out the link down below uh, around the comment section and also check out the Moomoo link. The offer ends in just four days. Thank you all for listening. Tesla to the moon because yes, for the medium term, Tesla is likely kind of bearish. Yes, there could be some downside, but... For the long term, I'm still a mega Tesla bull. It will break all-time highs for the long-term future. I'm still very bullish, guys. Do not count me out when it comes to the price action. I'm just reading what the charts are telling us for now. All right, thank you all for listening. Have a great day. Tesla to the moon because the long term is still very bright. And peace out.